Dear colleagues, I mean the cream of the country's monetary intelligence. The legend of the crime. You said the legend of the crime that in fact you are the purest symbol of honesty. But being honest in this country constitutes a criminal record, so a crime. You were the first who, with your intelligence, best understood this idiom in all its complexity and made it a reality by turning honesty and morality into millions of money. It is more understandable that you have invested this money for your families. It is known that when there is real well-being, the family has well-being and the people and the country. Regardless of the fact that this well-being is somewhat virtual, but money always smells and the people always know how to inhale it for free. This is pure humanism on our part. <laughs> I want to remind you that our dictator was not stupid when he gave the oxygen of life to the people with a dropper. You can buy a television with authorization but not a refrigerator and a washing machine. For these you needed three authorization from the party organization neighborhood. He was not a fool who created a paradise for himself in the middle of the hell where the people lived. The people he weakened so much in his resolutions and speeches that in reality he massacred and isolated them from the world. That paradise was called Block, our legendary hero Skanderbeg who created principalities from the victories of the war, was not a fool either, so we, dear colleagues, are not idiots to call these principalities resorts. This is called knowing how to follow the tradition of the past. No euphoria, and please forgive me if I don't emphasize the words well because I have new dentures and the infrastructure of the mouth has not been used yet. Cynicism. It's good to show it openly when it's necessary, but also to be restrained in special cases because we still don't have all the opinions with us. Bring stable currencies and it will even create a stable state for the material goods we enjoy. After all, this is what we are living for. Lenin's expression that power is taken but it is difficult to keep it has gone out of fashion. We as a single body are in opposition regardless of the non-antagonistic statements we have in relation to the number of tenders for foreign investments, there is no question. With this or then we will convince him with democratic forms of class. <laughs> I don't believe that this new year we will have any spontaneous gender development from our opposition present here. We have to hold fast, as our national hero Skanderbeg said. Each other by the arm so that the world does not tear us apart. The deep debt we have entered into our banana republic has been destroyed, but only we see this. So we have only the people left as an irreplaceable value which should be harvested with more elegance and not with violence like in 1997. One of you or the opposition brothers can raise the very legitimate question of whether the people have money. I say with conviction that yes, look how the cafes are full from breakfast to dinner. We have a lot of work to do both in the strategic and tactical spheres to renew this oriental mentality. It must be understood that we, as big debtors, 
are now governing by flying on the magic cloud like in the movie The Thief of Baghdad. But of course it is a flight in business class. The millions give us a lot of energy to be visionary and in the case of creating a system of new governance.